All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Dustin the Diamond Poirier and Daniel Hooker. You know, there is just something terrifying about guys with crazy hand speed, and that certainly applies to this young man. Punches and bunches, as good a combination striking game as we've seen in the UFC in years. And you gotta think the accumulation of punches, which have worn down lesser opponents, could wear down his opponent here tonight. It's one thing to see the hand speed on film. It's another thing to see it in your face on fight night. We'll see how this matchup plays out tonight. This guy has devastating power to his kicking technique. Whether it's to the legs, the body, or the head, if one of those lands, you've got real problems. So here is the former featherweight contender, now lightweight contender, Dustin Poirier. Since moving up to 155 pounds, Joe, he has really found his groove. He was reluctant to make that move because he realized so much success down a division. This is one of the winningest featherweights in UFC history. No denying, though, he is where he belongs now, up a division at 155, where he has proven to be a tough out, really, for all comers. This guy has nasty arm bars and leg locks. It is his specialty, and if he gets a hold of a limb, you either tap or it snaps. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting and out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Daniel, the Hangman Hooker. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, five losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready, fight. Ready. And with that, we are underway here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Punch. He's, che he's checking every single one of those. Nice shot. Good body punch there. Oh. Massive hook shot is true. Up. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Poirier. That one hurt. Oh, nice punch there by Poirier. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. That's Ooh, a uppercut hard match. uppercut. The left hook hits home. Well, you're playing with fire there. He left the body wide open there, and he has shown an increased vulnerability to that strike. Oh, right now. This could be it right here. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Nice leg kick. That punch no oh. good. Double jab. Oh! How about that chin? Trying to establish that jab once again. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Joe, pretty well played there to avoid the clinch. The overhand left is true. They may very well stop this fight. That cut on his cheek is really pouring blood. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Oh, hook to the head by Hooker. Oh, 
missed with that right hand. He got tagged there. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. There's that nice leg kick. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, nice. Shoots into the takedown. Tags him with the left. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Full guard here. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Hooker gets up, but he looks hurt here, Joe. I'm not sure he's recovered. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Dustin Poirier? Here's a left hand. Good defense there. Effective strike there by Hooker. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Getting the hands going here early. Well, he ate a pretty big head kick there, Joe, and he's got to be careful moving forward, moving into striking range, leaving that head wide open. I know his corner looks frustrated. Let's see if this team can make the requisite adjustments. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Hook. Poirier gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Clean with the right hook. Misses a huge hook to the head. The oh. kick lands, he's stunned, he's got him hurt here. Big shots! Now goes in and secures the takedown. job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, look at that. Nice. Reversal and into full guard. Gets up again here, but hurting. 45 seconds. Oh! damage was done, Joe Rogan. A couple knockdowns for him in that round. Big round from Poirier. A huge round, and his opponent should be commended for even making it out of that round because, boy, did he take some damage. Here we see a devastating punch that results in a knockdown. Brittany Palmer is in the building. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. He's definitely going to want to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Poirier strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. He clipped him. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Oh, and he connects there. He landed that punch flush. Good defense. Oh, he oh. clipped him. for the fences with that hook, but misses. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here tonight. Hooker's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Big oh. left hand! He is in trouble. Back to the feet. Dude, is it? 
Landed a big kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, as far as highlights go, they don't get much prettier than that. A huge kick to end the night here tonight. He caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and that one was a no-doubter. The fight was over as soon as that foot made contact. Let's see it again. Check it out again. Boom! Out cold. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dustin Dustin Poirier, ladies and gentlemen, we have watched his development firsthand in the UFC. He's focused on being more defensively responsible, but his offense was the big story in this one. This is a lightweight force to be reckoned with. Perhaps a title eliminator type fight will be next for the Diamond after the big W here tonight.